Hmm. I'll have to take it. We are now officially live here with no announcement, no warning, no nothing. Just live, just here, ready to go, coming at you, full frontal. Oh, CJB's in. Didn't even know what was happening. Oh, man, except people can now hear the uh, my double audio. How's yeah, it pays to be part of the notification squad. Aha. Sup, Ashlyn. Sup, CJ. Dude, your video was on point. Uh, CJ, I'm going to put the thing there. It might stay. To peek at the chat. Right now, we got, we got this grip I've had for a minute. I have for a dung gone minute. I've also got a little box to pop into. Maybe I'll open a pack or two with Teeps. She's bopping around. Um, but right now we are painting a custom grip, which I've not done for a minute. This is a commissioned grip that I will be sending to an awesome person very soon. Ah, uh, but you know, with all the stuff I had trouble even really acquiring grips. So I just kind of held onto it. <laughs> I'm, I'm half prepared. I'm going to take the chat with me. Oh, Gunny's here. Gunny, paint time. Ah, oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Gunny, I was looking at some of the, uh, some of your vids. Got some of the homeboys. And here's a heads up for everybody to be entered into my new giveaway thing. All you got to do is go ahead and check out River Dragonheart. He is down in the comments below. He's got some cool stuff. He does some art. He did the custom art for my actual channel with all my EVs and, and stuff like that. And right now, we have a dupe of paint. This is sort of the, the can't go back from here. But before I get started painting this little ghost layer... Um, but yeah, you got the King Cairo grip in the back. Timing was weird for this one because I had painted it. It was pretty much ready to send, uh, Fetty. If you guys know, Fetty has gotten a load of trouble. I had a grip for him as well. I sent the rest of the Braille guys the grip, um, And uh, then this lovely puppy you see in this grip right here, unfortunately had passed away. And uh, I thought it was weird, weird timing. I did not want to uh, send it to him right away as to not be insensitive y'all understand y'all get it but right now we are painting a just the ghost layer a keyblade from the lovely and awesome kingdom hearts and that's it there you go perfect oh that he's out of trouble due to civil laws. Interesting. Yeah, I saw him skating with Uzi and stuff. What is up? Tyler likes drawing. If you like drawing, you're going to love this channel. Your new name I see. Hopefully you're still hanging out in the, uh, in the comments down below. Because uh, if you like drawing, you're going to love my channel. I do lots of it. Here on Dave Third Eye Art Wood, uh, we do custom grips. 
we do a whole bunch of trippy stuff here, actually. We open up some Pokemon. We paint some Pokemon. We do some skateboarding. It's always clutch. Hopefully I can get... I just... I want to get to... My thousand subs. Not even really for uh, monetization purposes. More for the fact that I can go live wherever and whenever I want. And uh, we can take you guys on some rad adventures, some hikes, some cool stuff like that. And uh, I like the lives. They're a little bit more personable. We can talk. We can chat. We can do stuff. I don't have to edit. I can send you guys stuff, and you can talk to me right away. And I could put a little hat on, and you guys could see it live in person. Also, Pie himself is on his way to my house. We're going to make Swedish meatball pancakes. And it's going to be amazing. Obviously, this doesn't look like much now. Yeah, dude. Uh, Tyler. Copic markers are my favorite to use. Um, I will use some probably, but what I want to do is get a just a, a really light base layer of what I'm going to work with under, and then I can use some markers on top once this dries a little bit um, because grip tape heats them alive, and they are really expensive. Also, one of the reasons that I've been kind of holding off on doing my grips is because I've needed my markers for other things. And because of COVID and people homeschooling their kids, it's actually really, really hard to find any kind of art stuff at a regular store right now. It's pretty much impossible regular paints if I can find a color that doesn't suck but if you go to somewhere like Wally World or kind of any anywhere really it'll be almost impossible to find the shit you're looking for Uh, where is the video of Fetty and Uzi skating? I'm uh, pretty sure it was actually just on both Fetty's Instagram and Uzi's Instagram. And uh, you can see in their filming done by Uzi and then filming done by Fetty for Uzi's trick. So I think they were just kicking it. It wasn't anything like official. And I'm sure they're still all homies, but I bet, uh, I don't know. A lot of kids watch Braille, so. I'm sure it looks bad for Cairo, even though Betty's still got a ton of fans and he wants, uh, and people want him to go back. Dang, I was thinking about Carlos the other day. How he's kind of on Progress Daily now, and uh, John Hill didn't want to sponsor him at first because, because I remember when he was at Braille, he literally started like falling apart. Some stressful situations going on right there.
Sorry if I'm not paying attention to the comments. Uzi's commentary is a one. <laughs> it's Uzi's so ridiculous. This specific video, by the way, will get at least 200,000 views. This is the one that's going to take me over the top. We're going to do it. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for popping in. I'm going to be doing this for a while, and I'm trying to acquire something back here, and I can't. I seem to box myself in. I can't get it. I can't do it. We're about to check out some mail. Woo! That is in way too big of a box. <sighs> Got this box. Blick, which is an awesome, awesome art company. Um, I won these on Instagram somehow. Real cool artist. I'll probably put the link in the. Oh goodness. It's a lot of extra crap in here. All right. Blick, the actual company, sent these in this big-ass box. <laughs> and I'm not sure why, because this is all they are. But they're actually really, really, really nice long brushes, which I'm stoked to do. Let me know if you guys want to see this painting back here. Paint it live one day. We're going to do some more live painting on this channel. We're going to do some more live chats, live giveaways. Oh, man, it's all going to be live, up front, so personal. Wow. Oh, snap, Gunny. It's already on the headlines. I knew it. I knew it to be true. All right, I got to check out. I'm going to hop away from the chat. Feel free to keep chatting because <laughs> I can see it on the computer, actually, which is cool. So, so. <laughs> So how is everybody doing on this fine day? It's a Sunday, so you know that means all the stuff. Everybody, you know, you know, you know. How is everybody's uh, things going on? Not me? How's your... Situation of state, the state of situation in your state. We had a, a brief bit of time where things looked like they were going to open up and it's going to be all cool. But it looks like it's heading toward some sort of lockdown again. I know some other states kind of went back into lockdown which is freaking loco eh? I think uh, everybody's staying safe and doing what they can to not be crazy all the talk shows are even kind of permatizing themselves on the internet so now we got internet shows rather than TV shows which is kind of fine I didn't really watch TV anyway, but it is pretty weird to see all the transitions kind of gap. So 
So we got these under layers going on. And uh, let me know what you want to see. I'll, I'll take a break soon. I'll open a, a pack of stuff. But dang, CJV, that freaking... I'm not going to say what it is just in case other people in the live stream right now want to go check out your recent video. And uh, I know you're not going to pursue this specific channel that you have up now, but I have a feeling there's big things coming for your channel next year because... You're killing it, Broski. <laughs> that Sprite Banana Challenge video is, is literally killing it. Over 20K views. Watching you spew all over your room. And uh, it's literally probably some of the funniest Funniest schnit on YouTube. It's comedy gold. But yeah, you recently found out that Duddy and I are both uh, YouTube OGs. We have multiple channels. This is obviously my only channel that gets regular views and such. But it is pretty cool to kind of look at the old videos and see where we used to be at and, and all that stuff. Let me know if the lighting's cool. He's seen the lost tapes. Yes, you have. We got Dark Rocket Dad in the building. Trainer Leo is here. Happy birthday, Leo. I hope he enjoys being six. Those were the years. Those were the legit favorito years right there. Helm to enjoy them. Six and seven was my jam. Seven, seven was such a good year. Y'all remember. Guys, remember my YouTube when I was seven? And we used to, uh, build castles. Anybody who has not checked out the live stream I'm sure all you have, I'm sure most of you who are here now were in it. We got some insane stuff. We got that last pack magic, probably the coolest card I've pulled yet. Such a beautiful card for our last pack magic. That was beyond clutch. And we also got the Holy Grail. Canadian Tim and Kathy Weaver through the Hydro Pump Polka Cord sent me that MC Packbuster Golden War Turtle. They are super, super legit. And they are starting to kill it. They're getting in the whole whole different side of this stuff. The business aspect, they're making some, some awesome content. It's really cool. This is more of my channel re-gear. Definitely still Pokemon. Uh, probably going to do as much art as I possibly can in the channel because if my channel does grow, you know, I want my niche to be more, uh, oh, me breaking stuff. No, kind of more of uh, whatever I want. Some Pokemon, of course, because I do like collecting and all that cool stuff. 
but my favorite thing to do is art, all different kinds of art. Making Pokemon art is really cool as well. I'd like to showcase more of my actual artistic talent. Pokemon is more of my dose of medicine, especially when I make stuff. Um, but they're perfect things to send people. Some one-of-a-kind gems for, you know, people who have a gnarly collection. What do you send them? A card or two that is one of a kind and that's what's going to segue into the cup if you guys haven't seen the cup the holy grail cup i will show it in a, in a second it is one of my first my first official art card that i sent to nc packbuster they had made into a card for me or into a cup, a chalice, if you will. You guys are enjoying this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop back on the chat and we'll see. Looks like a trainer wolf. Hello, trainer wolf. Let's see who's who's up in here. Right now we're we're gonna try to hit our mark. By the end of this stream of 400,000 subs, I think we can do it. We're only like 10 away. But look at this. It is the coolest of cool. Such amazing, amazing work done on this cup right here. It's so cool. It is so cool. Sudan. Ah, yeah, I'm a... I'm a grip away from the computer but i recognize that little green face when i see it what is up sudan all right from a distance it looks am i making a kingdom key trainer leo i'm making a kingdom key Thank you, right, Trainer Wolf? Um, Tim and Kathy Weaver, he obviously, he uses his 3D printer and makes the all the parts and stuff. I don't know 100% what goes into making it, but I obviously know a lot of work because uh, that's amazing. It is my first art card made into... A custom chalice and it's the coolest thing ever ever it's freaking awesome and yeah we got some little highlights we're starting to put the yellow but I'm obviously gonna make this whole bottom part more gold I've also got to think about it. Let's see, I watched my homie do a trick the other day. And I think he's regular, which is why I'm trying to put it more here. So the board kind of comes up around perfectly. His kick foot foot will be like here. So you can pretty much see the whole the whole key. Really cool homie. He actually, uh, when I was up in Oregon, hit me up. Um, I know some of you guys have my grippies. If Riv's still in here, I'm pretty positive that he has, like, my first official grips that I did years and years and years ago. One is on... 
his longboard. That one's more of like a permanent, permanent thing, especially because it's on a longboard. Uh, so you don't really break those. Shout out to all the Braille guys, though. They're amazing. Um, I contacted Chris McNugget, one of my favorite skaters. He rides for three block. At the time, he rode for Revive, which is the same owners. And I was lucky enough, if you've seen the uh, Braille Army thumbnail, of the bug-eyed Chris McNuggets face holding the board with a big Charizard and a Caterpie on it. That's me. And that was his last revive board he skated before uh, they put him on three blocks. So that was a really cool, cool thing to do. I got a grip to send him soon for his three block grips. So that's going to be Another epic thing. And when I send this grip out, along with all the mail and the winners from our live stream in previous of previousness, we're also going to send this to the Braille House. So go ahead and keep a lookout on either the Braille Skateboarding Channel or the Braille Army Channel for this. Ah, right here, uh, Cairo's grip right here. This is Mob. I'm pretty sure this is some Jessup that I'm using for the key. Keeps still on point. Comes in and tells me the chat. <laughs> I didn't even know. The chat's right next to me. <laughs> Why don't I look? Yes. Yes. McNug is usually skating my art, but he obviously he goes through a ton of boards. So there's no way I could I could keep up with that. Oh snap! Yeah, but I'm still using my uh, my phone to look at some pictures. I'm quadruple multitasking. Oh, whoa, Trainer Leo. You guys are up in the bay. I forgot about that. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Snatch Uzi's chain and mail it to you. That'd be hilarious. That'd be comedy gold right there. Be a gem of comedy. <laughs> Leo got mad he couldn't go fast. That takes time. I started going down hills. I was too afraid to go down, sitting on my skateboard. Then eventually that stops feeling fast. Then you just try to stand up and you got to get used to rolling before, you know, before you can get used to strolling. It's just, it's just how it be. All right. Now we're starting to put some of the shadow layer up in this mixture. I'm definitely going to make it nice and sharp, but at the same time, I want to make it a little bit, a little bit stylized. I don't necessarily want to make it like. Uh, just look like some weird 
image that we've all seen nine billion times. Sometimes I'll, I'll peek at a reference, but I don't really like to, uh, I don't like the copy and that's not how my brain works. So I want this configuration as well as all my other grips and art that I do is all one of a kind. Even if the image exists elsewhere, there is no production of it that will come out as such except for the way I do it that first time and I don't recreate it. It is one of a kind art here on Dave Third Eye Art Wood on YouTube. Fake doors. Real fake doors. So I put that there. I don't know if it helps, <clears throat> but that way if you change the screen on your phone, you can still see it. I got, I got five, I got three screens, ladies and Jocko Clamps. I'm, I'm the best. Taking it to the limit. I got three screens, all for the comments, and I'll probably still forget to pay attention. This is one of the reasons I hadn't yet uh, live stream painted. I knew I would have trouble paying attention to the comments. So what I'm going to do is chill out, do some painting, try to keep up, try to pay attention. And if I don't, hopefully you guys enjoy the live painting. Three, three screens, like a true screen. Three screens or three streams, Gutty? And it's not <laughs> I told him. I told them, I said, hey, I'm, 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 I'm. But we are going to be going live a lot more often if you guys enjoy that. I mean, I also don't expect, I'm going to try to finish this within the hour, I suppose, but it's hard to say. It's hard to really say. All right. Woo! This intense, guys. There was another stream. I would have like music or something, but eh. I don't wanna. Me don't wanna. Let's see. Uh, oh, 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 hey. Ooh, Death Note grip? Yeah, that would be sick. Um, actually, I think... Mowgli, a.k.a. Jungle Book, Wanted a death note grip. But I'm going to have to check my uh, my Instagram messages to confirm that before I do it and before I, I start making grips and commissions readily available. I do want to do that. I want to be able to do commissions for you guys and stuff uh, soon enough.
I will, though, however, if you guys were wanting uh, paintings or any kind of art in accordance with time and whatever else I got going on, I will make commissions available. But for the most part, I'll make commissions, commissions available a bit at a time. Um, yeah, I won't be open full time, but if I have available time, then I'll try to do that. I'll also ask you guys if you would like, if you do get a commission, uh, whatever it is, whether you may or may not want me to create it on a live stream so you can see your art being made right in front of you. I've been half planning that for a minute now. So... When we do that, that'll be a cool thing. Um, if you do have anything in mind that you would indeed want, go ahead, send me a message on Instagram. At symbol third eye, Dave Art. Mm-hmm. Okay. Under the sword thing, we got a little bit of blue that I haven't touched on yet. Oh. Oh. I'm good. Do you think? Thinky. Danka. All right. Now we'll uh now there's a lot of poker peeps in here. I'm sure you're enjoying this, but I will open a pack or two soon. And some sun and moon. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Let's see, I'm seeing a comment from Sudan. I'll peek at that. Uh, let's see, JB, there's Gutty. Let's see what Gutty said. We'll see what Trainer Leo said. Let's go ahead and peek at the comments. Ooh. Ooh. CJB, a live stream Mikasa grid. That would be sick. That would be sick. I do have one more. Grip that I have not. Uh, used yet. Pretty, pretty much ready to go. All right, here's where we're adding the. So we'll touch. Not quite gray. Not quite white, but it's actually a tint of blue in there that's giving it like this nice gray. Kind of perfect for what I want to do. Oh, yeah. Snap. Yeah, don't worry about the door. You're good. Let's 
bright down here. Oh boy. <laughs> The science to making a grip because you don't want to just goop on paint uh, you do want to get your image and you do want to get all the other fixings ready Be deeply appreciated. That was not English. Woo! It would be deeply appreciated if I could learn how to speak, wouldn't it? <laughs> now, if people, uh, I mean, I'm sure you did. Everyone smash the like. Feel free to share this on whatever social media you please. I guess I'm, I'm going to try to gear it to trying to hit that 1,000 subs. Pretty, pretty soon. Going to hit that 1,000 sub mark. Might not even uh, monetize my channel right away. I would actually just like to hit that thousand subs, maybe we'll get recommended a little bit more. We'll diversify our bonds a little bit. We'll simply be able to do a little bit more stuff. We'll have some more options. Oh. A Mikasa cosplay for Halloween. That's pretty sick. What is up? JD State. Poke Paul just popped in the building. What is up, Poke Paul? How are you? Right now we're making a Keyblade live. Live Keyblade. Very special science to painting. A piece of sandpaper. I think on any other kind of surface, I would most certainly be done already. Which is one reason I love using my paint markers. But it grip tape destroys your art supplies. Absolutely destroys them. There we go. Let's get this little shade in here. How does it look, by the way? We're looking good over here. I mean, I, I can tint it more straight on if you guys like. There we go. Now I'll put some a little bit more shape. We're building here, guys. That's what we're doing. We got the kingdom key.
Create a painful ye. We do the shadow. Maybe. Eh? I could be, uh, I was wearing not this one. I was wearing a different Bob shirt, uh, Bob Raw shirt yesterday. And then some guy in Trader Joe's was super stoked about it. Told me about how much his uh, his eleven year old daughter enjoys Bob Ross and likes painting and likes painting Pokemon. And I was like, "Well, look at that!" And it was pretty funny. I think I made his day by simply having the explanation of what he was trying to explain of his daughter's painting of a Snorlax and then understanding what Snorlax was simply made it so much easier for him. And he was like, you know what a, a Snorlax is? And I was like, I do actually. And he was like, what? Okay. Well, she did one. Where he was sitting in an alley in New York City. And it actually sounded like a really interesting... Sounded like a really interesting uh, watercolor. I do watercolors. I'm all back. Is watching painting painful? <laughs> like, is it? Is this entertaining, or is it just the most? You're like, when's he gonna time lapse this? You know, some people think it's uh, relaxing, and other people might think it's a little bit. A little bit tedious. Are you not entertained? <laughs> nice. Good day. Smells yeah, dude. Got a chill series of poke. E paintings I'm going to start later, which will be badass. I'm stoked on that, Gutty. Gutty, push out as much dang content as possible. You make some clutch edits. You make some clutch videos. I think I might have to send you, once I'm done sending all my mail and all that cool stuff, then I'm going to have to send you a pack to open on River Dragon Hearts. Because, uh, because you don't open Pokemon packs that often and it's cool. So, I will do that in the, in the future. Got this gold coming in clutch. This with this gold paint right here. Blend it into the yellow. Give it kind of like gold highlights. And then the yellow. A little 
little shinies. You'll see. We're getting there. This is cool. Let me know if you guys think it's a cool idea. Seems to be people chilling in the chat, which is always a good sign. You guys are simply here. Just because it's me that I can't thank you enough. You guys are badass. At a time where you can't really go anywhere or do anything, what better thing to do than to chill with the homies via live stream? Especially on a Sunday. Sundays are... Everybody seems to upload on Sunday. I can't even keep up. So thank you, everybody who is in here right now. That is incredibly nice of you guys. You'll find me on your porch later this evening. Well, then let me check the chat. I was going to say, ladies and dropper clamps. It might just be the neckbeards and dropper clamps in here right now, which is fine with me. Yeah, we got no ladies. It's just all dropper clamps. That's okay. Or I am a dropper clamp. want to be one of the ladies in dropper clamps and don't want to be classified as a neck beard be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel <laughs> you like that <laughs> everyone's like no nah, that was lame that was beat actually dude don't say that again or i'll make you into a coat well i say please don't make me into a coat All right, here's where we start getting spice. I'm going to add these little yellow touchy touchies. Then I'm going to need this to dry the slightest bit. So while it dries, we're going to uh, I'm gonna pop open a pack of cards or something. All right. All right. One very difficult thing is getting all the right highlights and shadows. On a dang piece of sandpaper. And then I gotta make the chain that's gonna come up here and it's gonna have your lovely Mickey Moose ears. You guys like that? Wow. Oh, man. Let me know if you guys do skate. Either that or you guys fingerboard or handboard. Because I have made 
those grips custom as well. I've done little custom fingerboard grips. I've done really rad custom uh, handboard grips that I sent to Skater Chan and Sam Tabor. You guys don't know Skater Chan and Sam Tabor. You should, they're cool. Sam Tabor does a ton of YouTube. He's about two 2,000 subs away from a million subs on his skateboard channel, which is pretty freaking rad. It's funny. He's got like 275,000 subs on his gaming channel. Um, but it's not just lame, boring gaming. He actually puts together some pretty hilarious freaking content. All right, I'm catching up with comment. All right now, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I just had to shim, shimmy, shim, 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 shave a little bit and trim because I had a lovely neck beard traveling down to make its way to meet my uh, little, little chest curls. So that was fun. But COVID did indeed... make a neck beard out of all of us we're all looking bushy and fuzzy um, oh poke paul getting called up by the the reservies okay from trainer leo dave when i'm not broke I will have you paint my Destiny 2 Guardian for me. Heck yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm down, Trainer Leo, that'd be fun. A droopy boob? Suit on, like an actual droopy boob? Or droopy, the dog? Oh, AKA Stunfisk. All right. I'm actually, Sudan, I'm actually working on some Stunfisk customs for you. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Poke Paul's been doing a bunch of crazy stuff right now. I know he's in the midst of moving, and that's a whole thing. And CJV, Sam's, Sam's everything at his house makes peeps jealous. He's got his, his gaming, all those guys, all the revived guys literally make tons of cash. Not even being professional skateboarders, they just, they just skateboard. And uh, make silly videos. Brian Ames eats hot peppers on his YouTube. They sell skateboards. <laughs> they make a ton of money. And it's definitely obviously not all about money. But there's no question that they're having... A lot of fun doing what they do and just uh, kicking it. Pretty much just chilling, hanging out. All right, now is the start of the chain, which is the outside little curls we got going. Because I'll make the inside curls and pretty much a black oval will sort of 
seal it all together into a into a thing, and everybody will carry me and praise me when I win the contest. Everyone will who say three three cheers for Bigsby. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. I got a, I got a hip hip response. I got no beret. That's all right though. That's okay. Hooray. There we go. I got a hooray, a distant hooray. Let's see. Why? Oh, why to me, Sudan? Because you're Sudan and you're freaking rad. And uh, hashtag send me your stun fisks. fisks. Stun fists is uh, has got to be a thing. So I've been working on them for a while. I'm trying to send like a whole mega mail thing all at once. Same with this. Um, this is going to be included in my mail. I'm going to send this to Braille. With COVID, you can't even get to the post office sometimes. It's freaking crazy. Also, guys, if you've ever noticed, you guys make content, you have a YouTube. Um, everyone's been putting in the disclaimers that say, like, hey, nobody 13 years younger. Have you seen any big channels do that? I haven't seen any bigger channels have to put a disclaimer of any kind. So my thought is that the disclaimer is not real for your channel to be shown. I think it's the opposite, that if you have the disclaimer, they're less likely to show your channel it's just a way of them keeping track of like who's who, all the overlap, and uh, and if you have a disclaimer, then they're not going to show your channel. Is what I believe. I don't know. There are plenty of channels doing way better than I am. So uh, who's to say, really? Honestly, who's to say? Got this. this highlight going on the back. Uh, keyblade. Ah, yeah. Don't double check. You can't see it for privacy reasons, uh, but the the chat right now has over 90,000 people in it. It's crazy. You barely keep up with chat. It's ridiculous. We got 90,000 people in the hizzy watching me make this grip. That's almost all our subs. Nuts. Can't believe we did it. Can't believe we hit 100,000 subscribers yesterday, guys. They sent me my silver play button. I actually use it to heat up mozzarella sticks. You just toss it in the oven real quick, and uh, it's, good. it's good to go. <laughs> Gutty. Remember eight months ago when everyone thought YouTube was going to die in 2020. Right, Gutty? Well, YouTube's been killing it. I think they use things like Vine and crap to then find people. 
people who are going to become influencers and stuff, then those things are going to die. TikTok, TikTok's probably going to die. But before TikTok dies, you'll have a handful of people that were found on TikTok. It's like a weird talent agency for temporary purposes. Because how many big YouTubers now that I even watch, they used to do like Vine for the, you know, six months that Vine was a thing. But, and contrary to, uh, you know, what I'm about to say is not English. All right. Pretty much the opposite, Gutty, that people thought that, uh, Oh, Poke Paul. That's some gnarly TikTok information. TikTok is going to die because the US is cracking down on it when they found out what China is using the data for. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Gutty. Dave, when are you going on the Tonight Show with your boy, Jimmy Fallon? Uh, he's here. Hey, Jimmy. Come on out. He's been there the whole time. <laughs> Still waiting on Zuckerberg's answer, CJB. Yeah, that's it's comedy gold, but uh what they obviously use a lot of the stuff for. Definitely easy way to keep track though. I mean makes sense, but also, can you really expect anything less from China? Probably not. Uh, they don't have the best reputation of being like cool. Um, I mean, can you really trust them if you if you accidentally have a girl, they're gonna kill it? It's not really my kind of country, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hashtag bring back MySpace. Are we gonna all put uh HTML backgrounds on our YouTube? and transfer the entire data from MySpace to YouTube, making it MyTube. Are we gonna make MyTube, guys? We should definitely make MyTube, or USpace. Also, I mean, I guess uh, now would be a good time to ask because I'm in, uh, I'm live. There's a bunch of you watching. Um, I will eventually be making some kind of, maybe an, an eBay. We've got way more cards than this. But I know people that run claim sales, that's more of a thing. Um, on my Instagram, I will be making some cards 
available to you guys if you're trying to complete your collections, uh, if there's certain ones that you've seen in my collection that you want. I may or may not be like, yeah, if you're like, oh, man, that first edition vintage Smeargle's rad, and I'll be like, yep, it's mine. But here we go. I mean, I guess I'll stand behind it. Can you even see? Can you even see any of these? No. <laughs> I'm really I'm not doing so well here. All right. Very shiny. How about here? You know, stuff like this. Very shiny. There we go. We got like this Cramorant, Stone Joiner. You know, you've got your, your Hidden Fates, Raichus, and Gyarados. Got some shinies up in here. Shiny Decidueye. Your shiny Noibit. Got this Resha Zek, which is going for quite a pretty penny. So, Valley, I won't be attempting to really sell anything expensive because I'm not really you know I'm just trying to get rid of some cards you got some of these V cards are right here Lapras Torkoal you got the more peaks you got Snorlax Victini so if you guys are trying to complete some stuff or any of these cards spark your interest I can also check out a lot of my collection to see go ahead and message me on instagram if you are looking for some of these got the character cards which are shooting up in price it's kind of crazy the uh i had an i had a feeling especially like the pikachu and stuff would go up this power plant gold get the brock's grit gold you've got the dragonite gold so those and many, many more cards will be available. If you guys want to see a claim sale or we can even do a live one day, who knows? Let me know. I've got a ton of cards. So, the bees knees, I'll try to help you complete your collections. I have like three paintbrushes in my ear. Oh, boy. I'm going to go back, check chat. My tube sounds provocative. <laughs> yeah, I don't want people to see my MySpaces either, Sudan. I know they exist. I didn't delete them. They're somewhere, but they're uh, they're, they're pretty freaking stupid. That's at least I remember that much. They're definitely not the coolest. I'm about to catch up with comments in just a sec, fellas and lady fellas. You like how this is coming out? It's starting to grow on me. It looks pretty looks pretty sick. Let's see. Trainer Leo, Dave, what happened to the one that keeps bugging bugging me about art? Or I don't know. I've got like three YouTubes that float around. I've got um, I've got a bunch of weird social medias up, up in the space that just kind of float around. Occasionally I'll go to them. Uh, I'll take like an old picture from them. Uh, some of them I just leave them up because some of them have some some really cool gems. Like I, uh, I 
And on River and Eyes, I mean, I didn't find it. I, I knew it existed. But I was looking at River and I, one of our old YouTubes the other day. Hell, we OGs here. If I had one single YouTube channel and I stayed on that channel, I'd probably have a couple million subs. We've been doing YouTube for... Eight years, probably. Leo, you down? Yeah, Momo, I'd be down. Um, feel free, anybody who has any ideas about what I should do with the coin sale, um, or if I should do one, I guess, via Instagram, would that be the easiest for you guys? And uh, let me know. I know I have a ton of stuff in my collection that people definitely want. A uh, and making a little bit of cash on the side would more than help me out. At least to be able to, hell, we're far from breaking, <laughs> breaking even um, in terms of the channel, of course, but not really trying to do that, but At least to be able to uh, pay for some of the mail I need to send out sometimes. You know. I'd like to do like an occasional claim sale. Because there are people who do them literally all the time, nonstop. And my feed on Instagram is some days overrun with one person's freaking claim sale and then they do it again the next day like knock it off cut it out but otherwise I would love to do an uh, just to hook you guys up for some for some cool cars you've been trying to find But if you guys are curious about uh, certain things and you're wondering if I have certain cards, message me on Instagram, Third Eye Dave Art, and uh, ask, hey, do you have this card? And if you do, can I buy it from you? And I'll go, yeah, sure. Because I'd rather than doing a claim sale and having some random person I have to just mail stuff to randomly, who I don't even know. Um, I'd rather have you guys just hit me up directly. And that way I could just send you whatever and also include... Some cool mystery items with it. Maybe a custom god pack to go with whatever you may or may not purchase. Maybe some art to go with it. You know. So if you got something from me, it wouldn't be just me sending you the card you got. It would be... Uh, a little bit of a surprise. I could personalize it a little bit. Because that's more what I'm about. That's why I like to do the custom art cards. Some of your guys' collections are crazy. 
and uh, you know, I want to keep you excited about it. Bring something new, one of a kind card you've never seen before that nobody else could get. That's what you send to somebody who has a hundred thousand cards, you know. We're getting there. You can put like a little bit more stylized shadow here and there. And then I'm gonna bust out the markers. Do a little bit of gold popping, a little squaring up the edges, and then we'll bring in for a closer zoom in. Ladies in diaper clamps. Let me know how I'm doing. Would you skate the would you skate the crap out of this or would you hang it up on a wall? See the cool thing about these, unless you end up doing some kind of uh, unpredictable upside down dark slide and you literally scrape your grip tape off. The way I figured out how to do grips over the years, they do not fade. The image stays as sharp as you want it to. Obviously, the only things that may or may not interfere are dirt. But then you could take something like grip gum, clean off the dirt without doing anything to your actual image. It stays crisp. I gotta wash this real quick. I'll take the comments with me. Popping in, Rohin. Not suit on. Take it from River Dragonheart. He's he is super correct on that. That my grips do not fade, and I make them look like a like a permanent fixture stamp on the grip as if it came that way. Um, you should take a picture of that and put it on Instagram or something because it is such a, it's my favorite, favorite grip I think I've ever done on the long fish longboard, the dragon. And it looks, it looks so dope and it literally looks super fresh. Um, and Sudan says, I want it. Wait, uh, Ooh. Heck yeah, Poke Paul. I know you pieced out already, but uh, thank you very much. Pokey Kids Mom, Tiffany, she ran the Facebook group. 
Nice, Scotty. Make some chip. You gotta have the chip. I'm gonna make myself some chip in a bit too. And Sudan is hanging out in his Kingdom Hearts section of his room. That is as cool as it freaking gets. Oh, snap. And I'm looking at a... What? That's dope. Bam. That's Sudan right there. Fuzzy little picture I showed you, but... He's literally got a section of his room that's all Kingdom Hearts. That's sick. Nice, Sudan. That's dope as fuck. Ah, you're at work right now. Oh, snap. Sudan sending me a, a work-related mail item? No, I'm just kidding. That'd be funky fresh, though. That'd be funky fresh, though. Not gonna lie, that'd be really cool. That'd be pretty neat of you. I like that. I'm going to say lucky, lucky you, Sudan. I know work is annoying, but right now with COVID and all that stuff, since I've gotten to California, it's been literally impossible to acquire a damn job. Some of the leads that I had before I came down here are no longer open to businesses. They're shut down. I was going to work at a pet motel being an animal caretaker, and that kind of isn't a thing right now because people are not taking their animals to pet hotels. So um, it's, been a, it's been a breach. Been a pain in the arse, but we're sticking through it. Um, you know, it's going to be fine either way. We did have some cool stuff lined up for my buddy who has a music studio down here. So there's some more stuff to come in terms of that. But honestly, this whole whole thing has kind of halted most of the country. The only freaking people working right now is damn Jimmy Fallon. And anybody in the medical industry as well as uh, You know, mandatory peeps, all the people at your grocery stores holding it down. So thank you to all those people who are still out there in the field working, doing your thing. Stay safe. Don't deal with them Karens. All the people coming in to try and ruin your flow. You're doing a huge, huge thing for the country. Even if you're stocking shelves at a supermarket, keep killing it. Keep killing it. I do like the fact that um, at least there is at least some kind of recognition now on the fact that, you know, these aren't essentially, they're not 
easy jobs, but people always think those are kind of BS jobs. Well, how about now? Huh? Is it a BS job stocking a shelf now? Hmm? I don't think so. Now that this weird kid is the only way you can get your your damn toilet paper. You better be grateful. And trainer Leo, to answer what you said before, um, I could do pretty well on uh, Facebook Marketplace and, and, and stuff and uh, selling cards and commissioning art and stuff like that. But, of course, that in itself, because I've, I've sold a ton of art, an absolute ton of art. I am a professional artist. But it requires as much work, if not more, to do that than, uh, than probably most full-time jobs. It is a full-time job. I can potentially take my time and energy to try and pursue some of that, which I plan on doing, but I would like to do it with a slight leisure to it as well. I obviously don't want to make it 100% of what I have to do in order to be able to get by because that's going to kill it for me. I like to do it for people. I like to do it for fun. I like to create stuff that people almost have on like a wish list. They're wanting a certain item. They've been waiting to be able to figure out a way to create it. Oh, yeah, I can create that for you. And although commissions are rad, I see them all the time, even for art cards. Um, and people do some amazing work but they keep posting the same picture of this card that they just kind of have on them. They're hoping somebody buys it for $200. And there's just a good chance that they're going to have that damn thing for a long time. And then by the time they sell it for that price, It essentially was worth more. You might you might as well have just uh, given it away to somebody, and they'll appreciate it even more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, Pete, how you doing? Hey. Let me see. And Gutty, with the truest statement of all time, intention is important. Intention is everything. I've worked with a ton of artists before. I've worked with a ton of musicians before. 
and it only ever works if you're not trying to make it work. If that makes any sense to you guys. It only works if you're not trying to make it work. Karen's and Chad, CJB. Karen's and Chad's. Actually, I watch this. Uh, it's a YouTube that's been around forever. And they pretty much, it's just a dude who reads subreddits. It's called r slash. People just leave their ridiculous stories up there. Like, hey, this this Karen did this, and uh, can you believe it? And it's it's really entertaining. It's kind of similar to like an audio book. And it's pretty cool. I know I've been I've been painting for quite some time now, but you know what? Pretty cool. And then I'll have the finish product on my final thumbnail. Maybe an hour or two. An hour or two after the stream is done. Maybe even faster. Who knows? I don't know. We got 10 likes. Let's try to get this to 200,000 likes and over 480,000 shares. I think we can do it, guys. And as I'm signing off, that's what I'm going to do. A little Pokemon pack. Once I move out of the way, you guys will see what I'm doing, and you'll be so impressed. Probably not that impressed, but maybe. Covering up what I'm trying to do right now, but that's okay. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. This little stylized bit in here. Um, part that really gives it some movement. And uh, it's coming out pretty dope, not going to lie.
<laughs> That's all right. The look, the look, the look. Thanks, Scotty. brother. I appreciate that. All joking aside, I really do appreciate any compliments. You like this? That's a hell of a look at that. That's a live stream right there. Oh, snap. All right. Now what I'm doing, believe it or not, ladies and jarple clamps, is losing my items. Where's my stuff? Now I got these pens to finish up my final deets with. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is awesome. Also, this way, when you do the final little deets, there's not quite as much abrasion on your actual. Actual thing you got going. Hi, Tiny. Yeah, I, I knew that was in one of my pants. So it's my kyanite in one of my pants, but it has a, a little pouch. But it's no biggie. Now it's No, thank you. I like this dumb face that I make. <sighs> My favorite. It's not a cool painting unless I stick my tongue out like a moron. Ooh-wee! 
Ah, é? I've been doing this for one hour, 45 minutes. Not too bad, though. <laughs> nice, Sudan. Thanks for leaving the stream up while you drive. If you uh, somebody gets mad at you, just tell them. I said it was okay. Don't understand. And Gutty, wasn't that the part that everybody was waiting for? He, anytime they come into my streams, people are like, you know what? I don't know what the actual percentage is, but there's a chance. But he will step in front of the camera. And then it's just all gold from there, you know? It really is. Really. To, to be totally honest, if you like this smudge, I will fix that. That's the only issue with these is... Man, is okay. Maybe there's multiple issues with them. All right. T B H T B H. Oh, I meant to ask. I meant to ask Bween, Gutty. Where's Bween living at now? He got a he got a crib. Where is the Dungon Bween living? What town? Is it in Vernon or? Uh... Let me know, dude. Let me know. I'm Cardiosa. Está muy curiosa. He got a place with his girl in Lake Hiawatha. Hiawatha. Oh. That's cool. He's living in Lake Hiawatha. Yeah, I was talking to Blaine a little bit ago, and he had said that, and I never went, oh, wait, where are you staying? <laughs> I just instantly was like, nice, dude, and then uh, didn't ask anything further. But that's pretty sick. I'm sure... Wanting to kick it with some blints. 
As am I. I haven't seen Blinks in a couple of years, man. But he looks like he's uh he's at a shop at uh in Lake Hiawatha or wherever he's at too. And he's uh he's been killing it. His tattoos are so freaking good. His tattoos are so freaking good. Lean has absolutely been crushing it. Thoroughly impressed. Queen's doing some next level schnikes right there. Let's see. Oh, wow. Get off my screen thing. <clears throat> okay. Oh, by old Berkshire. Snap, son. So he's driving a minute to get to work, but I guess it's just down 23 a little bit. So it could be worse. It could be worse, but but that's pretty sick that he's uh, he's working right now. got just a few more deets here. I want to chill. I want to have my coffee. I've got my family chat soon. Dang, that's what we're doing, Gutty, is a, a lovely family chat that I don't know who started it, whether Dylan started it or Who knows? But it's everybody cool. It's Cat. It's Chris. Jazzy's up in there usually. Frida. So the whole fam kind of chilling, chatting, and all that stuff. We have minus a couple final deets. Gutty, it's still chilling. Agreed, Gutty. Family communication is indeed importante. Um, they're on the East Coast, though, so they do it. Sometimes it's not that convenient of a time. It'll end up being like, you know, I'll lose track of a Sunday or dinner time. I'm making dinner, and then I'll see something that's like, family chat has ended, and I'll be like, ah, oh, what, the, what the heck? Because they do it, you know, right before they – go to sleep or something and uh and then here it's like 5 30 or something and i'm like uh we're at the store so you know 
but it's usually every week. It's cool to talk to to Jazzy and and stuff. Who actually popped in the the live stream the other day? That was pretty cool. So I got some little gold touches I'm doing here. That and I'm uh I'm relatively in touch with Elizabeth and stuff. We'll message sometimes, you know. All right, Cuddy. It's almost like we're chilling again. This is, uh, it's trippy. Even in the, uh, the live stream the other day. I was stoked. I was like, Guddy's in the building. Guddy's in the house, guys. Hopefully when you when you zoop out west everything will be chiller. And if it happens to be when we're up in Oregon and you're up there, then we're definitely gonna kick it and go somewhere, get some grubbies or something. Last time I chilled with you and some some in Portland, that was like 11 months ago, almost a year ago. And I was up in the Dalles and maybe four months ago. Staying up there because I had to stay in Oregon still because, you know, all that fun stuff we got into. But that's all finally done with. Literally no moss for me. Besides having uh, some cool contact with Adam who I'm only about 10, maybe 20, maybe 20 minutes from uh, Adam's new studio in Newport Beach. So we're planning on doing some stuff soon, doing some uh, music recordings. Of course, I'll, I'll let you know what, when, and all of it is that we're doing, because that's going to be sick. But also, uh, when I eventually get a, a Pudadora, he's been trying to work on making a video game actually so we'll see what comes out of that that'll be kind of cool just a few more deets on this 
Keyblade. Trying to get my my silver working here. There we go. All right. All right. Aha! There we go. There we go. Get these silver touches. It feels good to finally be getting these grips done, set out, because I wanted to make grips eventually available again. Suit on! So what do we need to do is you, me, CJB, Gyarados, Freak, plan to meet up at Worlds in London next year, but make sure we spend time in Amsterdam. Sudan, that would be crazy. Going to Worlds would be insane, one. Oh, snap, Gutty, you haven't spoken to Adam in that long? Yeah, um, I've spoken to him a couple times. Um, up in Oregon, when I... And... Yeah, it, it was something like 12 months ago, two days ago. But, um, oh, yeah, and after the stream, go ahead, hit me up, Gutty. Message me the idea. And I'm sure I'll like it. Um, and then, let's see, you know how long Teeps and yourself are going to be down in Cali? We are going to be here. Unless she switcheroos schools and, and does some stuff back up in Oregon, I'm not sure that it all it all depends on what's happening and what's going on and how difficult um, school is and whatever opportunities kind of pop up. But we're planning on if it were to be the entirety of schooling, probably another three years. Um, at least. But if it's not, and there's like a transfer, um, then we're going to zip back up to Oregon. But we should be down here for a couple of years. But I think we're most definitely going to end up back in Oregon eventually. Because as you know, it's beautiful. So. But we're definitely planning to be down here for a couple years. And I miss the rain as much as I don't. Miss the rain. It's pretty interesting, but it is always nice down here, so that's a plus. And it's cool. I got some suntan going on. You can't tell because I have a, a beaming light on me right now, so I just look white, but. I'm a 
decent shade of brown right now from the lovely sun, which is enjoyed because uh, there was many times in Oregon, especially Portland, where I was like locked inside because of the rain. So, looks like we got five people watching, which is dope. We got ten likes on this, which is sick because I like it and appreciate it. That's why. It's, it's freaking cool. We got the final DTs going down. Right, yeah. Some little Silver outside of that gold Mickey. Oh, yeah. Ooh -wee. Look at that. Look how fancy we are. Right there. Some gold with that silver. Makes that chain pop. Ooh-wee. Look at that. That's freaking cool, dude. And there's silver. I don't want there to be highlights. Nice. Wasn't I in the middle of answering suit on? I totally was, wasn't I? And exactly, Gutty. It's it's COVID, so uh, you don't really know. Everything is played by ear, even with the places that I'm applying to. You'll call them. They'll be like, call us in a month. You call them in the month. And then they're like, sorry, everything changed. We had to let people go. It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. It differs on state. Differs on cases that come in. Yeah, so it's got to, especially in Cali right now, because it's crazy. Man, 4th of July here was nuts. I tried to make like a little video of it, um, but it didn't necessarily hold up 100%. Like it was obviously crazier standing here than it, it sounds on video, but the whole sky was like, just vibrating. Huge fireworks and stuff in every single direction. It was pretty freaking nuts. All the stuff coming from downtown was like, it sounded like a freaking war zone. It was crazy. But hell yeah, buddy. Y'all going to school? That'd be freaking. That'd be sick, dude. As soon as I'm able to, I'm going to get my Cali ID and possibly my handler's permit out here. Because, uh, one, I obviously like to work with it. We've got experience working with all that stuff. And it is one of the few 
places that remains open during all this because it's technically medical, so. One of the few things that hasn't changed, whether it's open or not, which I gladly appreciate. At the same time, homeboys like Sudan doing their part out there, getting people their medicine. My hat is off to you, brother. A lot of hard work right there. But there are people who are in tons of pain without it. And we came in huge clutch being able to get certain topicals for when I first messed up my knee. It was awesome. So you got this, you got this. These last couple details I'm putting in here. Ah, yeah, we've got these last deets, and then I'm going to open up a pack to bring it on home. We've been live streaming for quite some time, but that's okay. Forced me to get some stuff done, and even better... Because you guys are awesome and you guys have been watching. This will more than help me on the road to my watch time and potential monetization. But not for, uh, you know, I'm not going for glory. I just want to be able to pretty much live stream wherever. Get you guys content easier. And uh, ultimately get my art out there on a big level. You guys can let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. All that cool stuff. Ooh. Yeah, it crappens. Right now, Gully, there's so much. Randomly happening that, uh. You know what you're going to do? And you have your Keyblade Sword, your Kingdom Key, the key to the kingdom. Since a lot of you home doggies do indeed expect some kind of well, you don't really expect anything, but I'm going to treat you guys with a lovely Pokemon pouch. You get the dealio. This pack art right here. Oh. 
I really appreciate you guys for sticking around. Gutty. Hella fun hanging out. Even if we're not hanging out, I'd like to pass you a stick. You know what I'm saying? Here. Code for peeps in case they wander on back into the stream. Hopefully I don't get anything too nice. To be honest, I paint all over my hands. <laughs> you got green. Am I even holding it right? Not really. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Energy switch. Yeah, Tor Cat. Uh, Crushing Hammer. Really good card, actually. You get a Picky Peck. Sandial. A Lonely Rattati. You get the Snubble. Makuita. You know, Makuita. Experience Share Reverse. Ah, Masquerade, the Masquerade Mask of Pokemon cards. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I'll finish off, not with this one pack art. I want to do a different, different pack art. Does he even see me back here? Probably not. I'm having trouble. All right. One more for sure for you boys and gals. Some of you guys stuck around literally the whole time. Gutty, thank you so much. The other five people lurking up in the stream, probably Sudan's one of them. Uh, you guys have been kicking it for. Could have been in and out which is fine. I expect nothing more because you guys have literally been kicking it for more than two hours, and that is freaking amazing. That's amazing. You got that code. And then, all right, just make sure I'm doing it in front of the camera. Can we end the stream with some last pack magic? That would be amazing. Really cool set right here. Of course, you got the Dave Third IR Energy. You got the grip he did behind us. Looks badass. I'm not gonna lie. Really cool. That should fit on a skateboard absolutely perfectly. And uh, you've got this Aaron Cairo grip back here. We're gonna start making grips available. But the Dave Third IR Energy. You've got a great ball. With the monkey. Getting a little bit funky. All right. You got the Team Skull Grunt. The shell. A little smelly shell. Ooh. Togedomaru. Marin. That Togedoru. Be sure to like this video, guys. Go ahead and share it if you want. That'd be a plus. That'd be a plus on one minute. At the Poplio, you got a Zubat. Been through with that, Zubat. We got Carvana and a reverse Firo. Do we have the perfect pack to end this live stream right here? Oh, nice. We got a spicy pull. I can and will make this card available in our cool stuff via my Instagram. So go ahead. Yeah, we got this Incineroar. Nice last pack slap. Ooh, Sudan says he has a life-size Keyblade. That's pretty dope. I saw one once. I wanted to get it, but I don't know. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts in like 10 years. So... But you got the Chonky Gronky. Really nice looking, too. It's a really nice cut. Sometimes they're all muffed up. But I'll take it. I'll take it. That's some last pack smack right there. I'll put the card right there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Thank you guys so much. Look forward to seeing you soon. Go ahead, comment down below if you want to see more of these and hang out some more. Um, you guys want to see this painting, maybe I'll live stream finishing that painting one day. Might be a couple hours, though. So who knows? Can't really rush painting. The Keyblade came out. Oh, pretty, pretty freaking cool. You got the Aaron Cairo grip right there. All the deets. The computer is hot. So we're going to end this stream. Thank you guys so much. Take it easy, Gutty. Suit on. Thanks for hanging out. Anybody else who's here, thanks for hanging out. This is Rad. Have a good day. See you guys soon. Hit me up on Instagram if you guys want cards or some art. And uh, see you around. Bye-bye. Ah!